Hello and welcome back here to the reading of Don Casmurro by Machado de Assis in the channels Tapaulio Azul and Super Académico. Please subscribe to both channels and hit the bell for notifications. Let's go. Chapter 13, Capitu. Suddenly, I heard a voice call out from inside the house close by. Capitu! And in the garden, Mama! And again from the house, come here. I could not hold myself. My legs carried me down the three steps which led to the grounds and made, and made straight for the yard next door. It was their custom in the afternoon and the morning too. For legs are also persons, scarcely inferior to arms and watch over themselves when the head does not guide them with its ideas. Mine arrived at the foot of the wall. There was a communicating gate in the in an opening which my mother had had made when Capitu and I were little. The gate had no key nor latch. It opened by being pushed. I was stunned. Capitu was so fond of my mother and my mother of her that I could not understand such an explosion. It is true that she loved me too and naturally more or better or in another way reason enough to explain the resentment a threat of separation caused her. But the abusive epithets to call her such ugly names and especially the rival religious customs which were her own. She too went to mass and three or four times my mother had taken her in our whole chair chaise chaise old chaise and had given her a rosary, a gold cross and a book of ours. I wanted to defend her but Capitu gave me no chance. She continued to call her pew armor, warmer and church laws, and church laws, in so loud a voice I was afraid her father and mother would hear. I had never seen her so angry. It was as if she was determined to tell everything to everyone. She clenched her teeth shook her head. In my fright and anxiety, I kept repeating my oaths. I promised to go there very night, that very night and announced that nothing in this world could make me enter the seminary. You, you will enter. No, I won't. You will see whether if you will or not. She fell silent. When she began to speak again, she had changed. She was not yet the usual capital, but almost. She was serious, untroubled. She spoke quietly. She wanted to know the conversation that had taken place at our house. I told her the whole thing except the part that referred to her. And what interest was Jose Diaz in bringing this up? she asked at length. None that I know of. It was only to make trouble. He is a vile character. Vile character. But just you wait. He'll pay for this. When I'm master, he'll be kicked out in the street. You'll see. I won't let him stay a minute, mama. It's too good to him. She gives him too much consideration, even cried apparently. Jose Diaz, no, mama, cried. What for? I don't know. I only hear them tell her to cry, that there was nothing to cry about. Not to cry. <laughs> he finally said that he was sorry and came out of the room. Then I left my corner so that I wouldn't be caught and ran out of the veranda. 
but just you say but just but just you wait you make him pay for it I shook my fist and uttered other threats as I recall them I do not find that I was ridiculous adolescence and childhood are not in this respect ridiculous it is not one of their privileges that disease or danger commences in early manhood increases with maturity and attains attains its greatest degree in old age at 15 there is even a certain grace in making many threats and carry out none Capitu was reflecting reflecting was not a rare thing with her <coughs> one could recognize in it it's by the narrowing of her eyes she asked for some more of the circumstances the exact words of this one and the other and the tone in which they were said i was unwilling to tell the starting point of the conversation which was herself i could not convey to her its whole significance Capitol's attention was now directed to my mother's tears. She could not understand them. Meanwhile, she admitted that it was surely not wrong of my mother to wish to make me a padre. It was a promise of long standing, and she, being God-fearing, had to keep it. I was so relieved to see that she thus voluntarily attuned for the insults which had burst from her a little earlier, that I caught her hand and pressed it hard. Capitu left and did not pull it away. Then the conversation began to nod and fall asleep. We had come near the window, a negro peddler who for some time As you see, Capitu at 14 already had daring ideas, much less so than others which came to her later. But they were daring only in conception. In practice, they were apt, sinuous, unbetrusive, and accomplished. The end of proposed. Not at one leap, but by a series of little leaps. I don't not I do not know if I make myself clear. Imagine a great plan executed by tiny means, thus not to abandon her vague and hypothetical desire of sending me to Europe, Capitul, if she were able to accomplish it, would not have me embark or steamship and flee. She would throw out a string of canoes from here to there, over which I seem to go to Fort Lake. On a point, on a pontoon, pontoon bridge, would really go to Bordeaux and leave my mother waiting on the sands. Such was the peculiar nature of my little friend's character. It was not to be wondered at that she would oppose my projects from open resistance and resort the harder to blader methods, the slow action of intersection pages, gentle daily persuasion that she should examine by for by beforehand the persons on whom we might count. She rejected Uncle Cosme. He was a new dealer. Even if he did not approve of my ordination, he would never lift a finger to prevent it. Cousin Justine was better than he, and better than either would be Padre Cabral because of his authority. But the Padre could not be expected to work against the Church, unless I should confess that I did not feel the call. <coughs> I will confess, yes, but 
that would be to come out in the open and it's better the other way José Dias what of José Dias he might be a help but he was the one who reminded it, it doesn't matter Capitu continued he would now say something else he is very fond of you don't be meek with him the whole thing is for you not to act timid show him that you be master one day show him that you are determined give him to understand that this it is not a favor praise him too he loves to be praised dona gloria pays attention to what he says but that is not the main thing the, the main thing is that he because he is to be dependent on you will speak with much more warmth than anyone else no i don't believe it capitu then go to the seminary no never what will you use in trying let's try do as i say dona gloria may give up her skin if she doesn't we will do something else there is still padre cabral remember how you happened to go to the theater the first time two months ago dona gloria was against it and that should have been enough for jose diaz but he wanted to go and he made a speech remember i remember he said that the theater was a school of manners yes and he talked so much that your mother finally gave in and paid the way for both of you go on ask other look tell him that you are willing to go to sao paulo to study law i shivered with joy sao paulo was a fragile scream which could one day be set aside in place of the thick wall of the spiritual and eternal. I promised to speak to Jose Diaz in the proposed terms. Capito repeated them and accentuated some of my first importance. Then she quizzed me on them to make sure that I had understood and would not mix them up and she insisted that i should ask politely but casually casually as one requests a glass of water of a person who is obligated to bring it i relate this minu minuity to explain to explain what the morning of my little friend was like soon i will come the afternoon soon will come the afternoon and of the morning of the afternoon will be made the first day as in genesis where seven were <laughs> made in, in succession well that's it for the reading uh, this time i hope you will enjoy even with the gaps in the in the in the text but i feel that it's possible to understand the story even with these gaps till next time don't forget to subscribe to the channels give the like share and comments bye bye